Dr. Tyrone Tabon, welcome to Great Day Washington. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, Mark, and thank you on this most beautiful day. Man, so, so Doc, okay, what is the metaverse? Imagine a movie. Right now, you're sitting there, you're watching a movie. It's passive. The metaverse is you going into the movie. So you leave your chair and you actually go into the television on the movie screen. But here's the key. Once you're in there, you're actually making the movie in real time and interacting with other people in the movie. That creates the metaverse. It's all around you. You're in merge. You are, you can go to it anytime and you can interact with other people all in real time. And so, you know, um, Dr. Tabermore, I think, uh, especially people of my generation, feel like, well, that's something that's developing over here and it doesn't really impact my life. But the thing about it is I'm starting to see banks advertise uh, metaverse connections and virtual connections. I'm starting to see it pop up. Facebook just changed their name to Meta. And I think it's one of those things that you can't really avoid it. And I think so that's why I wanted, we wanted to have you on to talk about it because it's coming and actually it's best to be on top of it. A lot of people still say WW uh, when they're talking about a, a web address. And so <laughs> how do we, as regular people, get ready for the metaverse? How can we slowly, you know, get acclimated to this new world? Well, Mark, let me tell you this. The first thing is to realize that what's happened in your generation and our parents' generation, change used to be slow, you know, like a frog being in boiling water. You know, the, eventually the frog would get cooked because it never knew the temperature was going up. In our lifetime, change is radical. It's happening so quickly. So the first thing we have to understand is that change is happening right this second. The metaverse is a tear in the fiber of our society. And the reason it's happening is because of the pandemic. Without the pandemic, you would not have the metaverse happening as rapidly as it's, as it's happening. And why is that? Because of the pandemic, we had to have social closeness and physical distancing, which meant everybody is using video conferencing. And because of video conferencing, everyone is consuming knowledge in a way they weren't doing two years ago. Hence, new industry, new opportunities, and everybody's rushing for the metaverse. Let me tell you why this is so important. It's like the gold rush. Everybody's at the beginning. It's all equal. And whoever gets there first can win. This is exciting, but it's still, I think people will say, so what do I do? Where do I start? Where do we start? Well, the first thing to start is to begin looking at everyday applications and what you're doing now. A metaverse is a community. So the first thing that you want to do, if, it depends on where you want to play in the metaverse. So let me just break it down very quickly. If you want to look at the metaverse as job opportunities, there's a lot of new programming that is going to be critical that can lead to jobs from 80,000 to up to 200,000. Unity, 3D Vista, SketchUp, all of these metaverse kind of software that needs to be developed. If you're an investor, you can start investing in things like Microsoft, Unity Software, Autodesk. Those stocks are blowing up because people are pushing toward the metaverse itself. If you're in a community and you want to create new softwares and new communities, here's a real opportunity to develop applications. So there's tons of areas from education, job training, and investment in finance. And we could spend hours on this, but I just want to tell you those are three major avenues in which uh, everyday citizen can actively participate in what is happening now, the metaverse.